Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this is going to be, I'm, I'm not even going to try to cover it up. This is a tutorial that is just here so I have something to upload because I have had um, uh, it's just been a day. I just had a very good cry and um, and I, I have very little left in me to care about filming something nice. So this, you can see through it, it was a, a failed tutorial that I tried to restart several times. I spilled my water everywhere. I spilled water again everywhere. Things are dropped, like things are just not going well. I've, I did a very quick gradient. As you could tell, it was like a 30 second gradient where I used nude, yellow, pink, kind of blended those together. Let's wait for this to completely dry and we'll move on to the next step. I'm gonna take orange, I think, like a light orange. And I am painting kind of like a mountain range thing. All right, let's let that dry. Okay, so next, once that has dried, take pink, whatever pink you would like. And I'm gonna do another mountain range that overlaps very slightly and goes like this. Okay, let's let that dry. Okay, next I'm taking black watercolor. Change my mind, I'm taking whatever color is next to it. I have no idea what color this is. It's kind of like a grayish blue. And uh, Painting another layer of mountains. Okay, let's let that dry. Now I'm taking black and this tree that I painted in an earlier failed painting that you are not going to see is still showing through. So I am going to paint over top of it. Does this make sense? Nope. Why is there a deciduous tree in the foreground? because I need to mask a previous mistake. And I am one mistake away from having a breakdown, so. Okay. 
This tree just keeps getting bigger and bigger because it's not going my way. And I think I should have another one coming this way to balance it out. I don't like that this one's thicker and this one's skinny. It looks really off. I'm going to switch to my smaller brush and add some more details to make this tree even thinner looking. And I'll try to do the same to this one, balance it out at least a little bit, or it's going to look really awkward and weird. We'll find out. doesn't really match at all. I'll paint another one beside it that's a little bit thinner and uh, maybe that will balance the painting out a little bit better. Something's definitely missing in the center here. There's just a lot of blank space. I don't really know what to add. 
to make it more balanced, maybe some shrubbery or grass of some kind. I don't know, let's see. Okay, I think I'm, this, believe me, this looks 10 times better than um, the previous attempts at whatever this was going to be in the beginning. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to do is add a sun with white acrylic paint. Somewhere here. This kind of looks like one of those paintings that, those indigenous paintings that they sell in British Columbia. Because my brother has brought some of those home and it's kind of what they look like. All right. That'll do. All I'm gonna do is peel this tape off. Ta-da. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next